So in exercise two, we were asked to prove that the eigenvalues of any Hermitian operator must be real numbers. So to remind you, if we take a real number and we complex conjugate it, we get that real number back because a real number does not involve any imaginary terms. So we're going to take lambda as being our eigenvalue, lambda ket as being our eigenvector or any eigenvector of our Hermitian operator and L is going to be our Hermitian operator, just generally. So if you remember the eigenvalue equation, as some people say it, you have L acting on an eigenvector. It's going to equal an eigenvalue times the same eigenvector. Then by the definition of a Hermitian conjugation, we can complex conjugate this equation and we get the bra this time of our eigenvector and L dagger is going to equal a lambda well, the bra of lambda and then times the complex conjugate so we just complex conjugate this equation and we come to this so since L is Hermitian it is equal to L dagger so this equation here can become Because L is equal to L dagger. Okay, so if we times this top equation by the bra of lambda, we get that which that's equal to our eigenvalue times the bra of lambda for ordinary ket. So we're looking at this equation here, and we complex conjugated that equation to come to this one, and we found out that L is equal to L dagger. So now for this equation, we can times it by the ket of lambda. So we get times the complex conjugate of lambda, which is our eigenvalue. So obviously for both equations to be true, lambda must equal the complex conjugate of lambda. Therefore, if it's equal, it must be a real number. And therefore, any eigenvalue of an emission operator must be a real number. See you in the next exercise.